I'm going to share with you three stories that will sh show you that we need to be careful with our perceptions because our perceptions can be very often misleading. And I will share with you some tips how you can avoid being misled as I just misled you. <laughs> when I was about 20 years younger, yes, I was born already. <laughs> <laughs> when I was 20 years younger, I owned a restaurant. And our chef and his colleagues always liked to play some tricks. So whenever we had a new helper in the kitchen, they would pay attention and watch her. And when she takes the iron cast noodle press, put it into the dishwasher, they would try to lure her out of the kitchen, then open the dishwasher, take it out, put the smaller one, same model in and close the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Then they would wait till she comes back, till the dishwasher finished, and then she would open the dishwasher and try to take the noodle press out. And everyone said, oh, you put the dish, the noodle press in the dishwasher. Don't you know it's shrinking? <laughs> <laughs> and she would be, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> Of course, the next day she would come back. How could you fool me this way? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever been fooled by other people? Yes. Because something appeared in a way which was not really true. It often ain't what it seems. When I came to Hong Kong, I didn't know many people, so I found the Asia Expat website just to find out what's going on in Hong Kong. And then there were several forums on that website. And in one of the forums, a mid-40s lady was making a statement that made me really upset. She was saying, Germans are very racist, and most of them are Nazis. <laughs> I was very outraged. So I wrote a very strong statement back and that this is not true and that whether she, how ignorant she can be, 60, 70 years of history has passed since the Nazis, it's simply not true anymore. A few weeks later, I met a guy who was also on that forum in person and he told me that he met this lady in person and he told me her story. He told me that she comes from a Jewish family that her mother was the only person in her family surviving the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. And that about 10 years earlier, she went to Germany for her first visit and she got robbed of all her belongings. I started to feel really bad about what I wrote to her. Because did I understand why she said what she said? Yes. Did I agree with what she said? No. no, absolutely not. But I could understand her at least. And I'm sure if I would have known her background, I wouldn't have responded in that way. Have you ever responded in a strong way because you disagreed with someone because you didn't know the background and maybe regretted it later? It often ain't what it seems. Let me ask you, when you feel puzzled, are you willing to dig deeper and try to get a deeper understanding of what's going on? When you have a first bad impression of someone, are you willing to give them a second chance and try to get to know the person really? When you hear a statement that you totally disagree with, are you willing to understand why the person said what he said? It often ain't what it seems. So ladies and gentlemen, is it easy? Yes, actually it is. You just need to pause, take a deep breath, and then be curious and try to understand what the person said. Try to understand why the person behaves that way. Try to understand whether this person is really like that or maybe there's a better person behind. It often ain't what it seems.